Hello. Today we're going to be looking at a 1990 release for the Famicom Disk System, so a rather late game in the console's lifespan. This one's made by Nintendo and actually has a rather famous developer behind it. That A. Pejitnov, I don't think that's how you spell that, is referring to Alexei Pejitnov of Tetris fame. As you can see here, there's two main types of gameplay, or game modes in this. There's the A-type and B-type. I'll go over both. Uh, we'll start with A-type. Um, you have three different songs to choose from. Train's my personal favorite, followed by the Horseman track. Um, I wish I knew what the third track was. As you can see, the night move the title refers to is the fact that this puzzle game kind of... When, say, it takes place on a chessboard, because maybe it's not uh, checkered, but you play as a traditional chess knight, and as most, well, all good chess knights, only move in an L-shaped pattern, in this tile kind of thing. Um, I pause to show that you can't just pause in midair and see, kind of map out a pattern. You have to actually see everything as you go, which is kind of the main point of this game. Uh, the main difficulty comes from the fact that this game can get fast really quickly, but the goal of the A-type, in order to, I guess, advance the round, we actually start at zero, which is something you usually don't see. But the goal of each round is to... Uh, excuse my gamepad. Uh, it keeps on trying to register itself, so that's what that message was. Anyway, uh, the main point of each round is to grab that heart. Now, as you can see here, I'm trying to avoid the heart because just going for the heart's not really a good way to get score. As you can see, when you land on a tile, it goes from light blue to dark blue and then to this hole right here. Uh, the game ends when you land in a hole. So the best way to get high score is to get as many tiles as you can well, more that you can without accidentally making yourself forcefully land on dark blue. But you need to make as many as dark blue as you can and then get a chain of them going on. Um, this gets a little harder, or especially gets really hard once you start getting faster. Um, you can actually gain a few extra points. Um, as, you, as you can see, I kind of go like speed myself up by just holding down A. You get a little bit of a point boost, but not a really huge one. It's not going to get you a huge high score. And uh, also, I should warn you, if you have epilepsy, this game likes to flash a lot. As you can see here. But this is kind of the main flow of the game. You just try and make sure that... Try and get a good chain of landing on dark blues, and try not to land in holes. Although, usually you end up not even realizing that you kind of screwed yourself over. Now, as you can kind of see here, I kind of bone myself by being indecisive about where I'm going to move. Um, yeah, it's usually the way that your games end is you like, oh crap, I didn't mean to put myself over a hole because when it gets quick, you have to make sure that you're on the right spot because you'll kind of whip over a hole when you're not trying to. And as you can see here, um, 
you can it saves your top three high scores and gives you a fair amount of not only alphanumeric characters but also a few bit of symbols so that you can have a little fun with. Um, I had a score saved from my past run, and here's B type. Now it's very similar to A type with one key difference. Um, you don't just have to get one heart; you have to get either three or more, depending upon how deep around you're in. So, kind of the good strategy is to probably um, not avoid the hearts. Actually, try and get one or two, like, right off the bat, while waiting to not get the third one until you're obviously in a chain. Unfortunately, since it moves every six landings, I guess you'd call it, it can potentially either land right where you don't need it to, which will screw you over and score, or land completely far away from you, which can screw you over, well, cause you to lose if you can't get to it in, or I guess can't get to it fast enough. So I personally prefer A-Type, but both modes are actually rather fun. This is actually a fun little puzzle game. And there's not really that much else to say about it. This game does have a two-player mode. Um, I didn't really have anyone to show it off with, but I can just say it's similar to this. Um, I guess you um, are... Tr I think it's you're trying to go and collect hearts, but I'm not entirely certain. But you're both playing at the same time. And I'm pretty sure you're playing on different boards. So it's either... Either collect hearts or it's just survive for the longest time or and get the highest score or something like along those lines. Well, here you can see that now that you're in round three, you now need four hearts to proceed rather than just three. So I can't remember how many hearts it gets 
like what's the maximum you can get. I don't think it just goes on forever. I think there is a limit, but I've never been good enough to be able to find that out. I might have done this once if I was trying to cheat and just figure it out, like just by trying to get the highest score or something. But I want to say it's eight, but I'm not entirely certain. And here comes the worst feeling that you can get while playing the game. Yep, nowhere to go but a hole. And that was probably one of my better runs of Type B. As I said earlier, I usually play Type A, but Type B is pretty fun too. As you can see, I had a test run, did much better than my test run. So I think I'm going to do another Type A, just to kind of show you just another run. And also get, it off, get the show off the third track. See, you got to be careful when you're hitting buttons, as that happens far more commonly to me than it probably should. So I am not ending on that run. So here is a actually much better run. This is actually one of the best runs I've ever had in this game.
Eh, only round two, but I still got did fairly good. Got a really good combo, but yeah, that's pretty much all I really need to say, or you really need to see about Night Move. It's a fairly simple game, but it's really fun. But then again, when you have the creator of Tetris making your game, of course it's going to be fun. And yes, since this is a disc system game, you can save your scores. So it's not like NES version of Tetris where you, oh, it's I got a high score, but then it wipes when I shut the game off. So this has been Night Move. Really solid, simple, fun game. It was one of the last games Nintendo made for the system, but probably one of the better ones. Thank you for watching. I hope you join me next time.